Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Consciously Yours. In our last episode, we were talking about what sustainability means to different stakeholders across the fashion industry. We also spoke about the pathway that the United Nations has laid down for responsible business processes and production ways. But in this episode, I'm going to be going into a little bit more depth of what these goals really mean for us. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are a plan of action for the people and the planet. These can help us ensure we meet our goals to have a more eco-friendly and a sustainable economy around us for us and our future generations. But what does it mean when we say better fashion and what are the steps that we can take to achieve this? The first step is fair trade and fair wages. It is most often seen that the workers in the fashion industry are not paid minimum wages. The employees are hired on a contractual basis which means there's no liability by the companies to provide for their health benefit or any other schemes. It is also most prevalent to see that the women uh, workers are not paid as much as their male counterparts for doing the same kind of job. Another key issue that is raised is uh, practicing sustainable and organic methods of production across the value chain. Key textile crops such as cotton which is so extensively used in the fashion industry needs to be grown organically to reduce its harmful effects on the soil and the water. Another key important issue that we often see and that we often see in the fashion industry is gender inequality and human rights. The large stakeholders and decision makers are often seen to be men and women are not allowed to hold positions of power. We need to do more to be able to uh, to be able to rise and hold executive positions in the fashion industry for the women counterparts. The last key issue that I want to discuss is inclusive and quality education. As a part of the fashion industry, it is on us as brands to educate our consumers about what the best practices to follow in fashion and what the harmful effects if we don't. It is on us to talk about how we can recycle, repair and reuse our old outfits, how we can make uh, more mindful decisions while we're buying new clothes and being transparent about the processes that have gone behind in making the garments that we make and the consumers buy. We have an opportunity to bring the fashion fraternity to the forefront of the global sustainability debate and show the world the true potential of our contribution in achieving these goals. Let's make it count. Thank you so much for tuning into our episode and I hope to hear from you and any thoughts and feedback that you might have on the thoughts that I've shared and what are your insights on how we can achieve these goals in our little ways as a consumer and as a producer. Thank you so much and until next time, stay safe and stay woke.